There's a special kind of pride That you feel deep down inside A strength that seems to thrive In Lima, Allen County The American way of life To get in gear and do what's right An unbreakable forthright link Called Real American Strength Lima, Allen County Real American Strength Without forgetting where we've been Creativity meets technology Where possibilities never end Ohio strong, Midwestern know-how Exploring innovative ideas Deep-rooted but always growing Ever proud of where we live By my Allen County Real American strength Keeping you up to date with what's happening in your community. Community Focus on GTV2. Thanks for joining us today on Community Focus. I'm Ann Decker. If you are still trying to clean up your yard and your house from last week's storm, you may be open to some scams. Here in the studio today to tell us about some of the scams going around in our community is Steve Steckscholdy. He is a detective with the Lima Police Department. Thanks for being with us. Sure. What do people have to be wary of if someone is coming to their house offering to help them clean up or repair a roof? Well, anyone that's going door to door, unless you've checked them out, um, either with the Better Business Bureau or even on the internet to check to see if they have a, uh, a business. Um, if it's just someone that is uh, coming around and offering uh, their assistance at doing any type of construction work, cleanup work, uh, repair work, or even uh, as we had a couple years ago, driveway sealant, um, any type, type of work around your house, you have to be aware, especially with the, uh, when the price seems really good, um, it's usually uh, uh, some type of a scam. What you end up doing is uh, they're looking to get payment up front because they're going to need materials and then you make the payment to them. They may uh, do a couple things there and then you never see them again. So it's, uh, you need to be aware of this. Uh, if anybody's asking for payment up front, it's usually uh, uh, something you want to uh, maybe bypass and go to someone that you find in the yellow pages or uh, uh, someone in a local business. You know, in this age of electronics, it gets easier and easier to do mass scams. We can send out an email or put an ad on the internet and try to take people in that way. Are you seeing a lot of that? Yeah, uh, not only just on the internet, but also by mail. There are similar scams. Uh, some are the, uh, the foreign lotteries um, or the uh, inheritance scams where uh, people are going to send you either a certain uh, amount of money or a check. A lot of times it's a false check. They'll ask you to cash the check uh, and then send your tax money in or uh, send a uh, filing fee to them. What happens is, is you cash the check at your bank, uh, the, ca the check is cashed and then you go to Western Union, you send a certain amount in and then a couple weeks later you find out that the uh, check was a fake check and now your bank is going to hold you responsible to cash it or to, to reimburse the funds that were taken out of the, uh, out of the bank. So you need to be real cautious with any of that. The, the best thing you can uh, do in that situation is just realize, like we've been told for years, that if it's easy money or it seems too good to be true, it usually is. Um, the other thing you need to remember is uh, when you're sending money Western Union to some place in Nigeria, um, there's usually <laughs> something that, uh, that isn't right with that. Well, you know, it's hard to believe people fall for these scams. If you just look at the emails or the mails, they are so poorly written. It's just bad English. People really fall for this? They believe it? Yeah, you know, I think in, uh, you know, when people are down on their luck and, and they get the money uh, or a potential of getting this money, uh, some people have even went to the bank and said, hey, is this a good check? And the bank said, yeah, it appears to be a, a good check. Well, what they're doing is they're using account numbers from accounts that are good. Uh, so it does appear to be a good check right off the bat. Um, some of these other scammers will even use uh, young children to do scams. Uh, they'll go door to door selling magazine subscriptions or some will, will sell candy. Now a lot of times with the candy it's not, uh, you're not getting anything that uh, they aren't offering. I mean you're paying you for the, the candy. candy bar. Right. But the thing is, is you think that the money is going to some special interest group or some teen group and it's usually just going in the pocket of somebody that's trying to make quick money. Well, how do you know? I mean, it's a cute kid. He's got a candy bar. You know, how do you know that it's really a scam? Uh, the best thing to do is if you don't plan on losing that money uh, or you don't want to lose that money or you don't want to fund somebody that potentially is uh, 
using children or exploiting children to uh, to make quick money. Just stay with the the places that you're familiar with. The you know if you've got local sports teams or you've got local schools, those are obviously reputable. Um, but if you've got some place that you've never heard of that's out of a uh, city in a different state, then it's best to just stay away from it. We've also heard a lot lately about the mortgage scams. Do you want to fill us in on those? Yeah, with the uh, with the housing market, uh, the trouble they've had in the last few years, a lot of people getting behind on their mortgages. You'll have uh, people either by mail or by phone that will call up and uh, offer you assistance in uh, helping get back uh, in line with your mortgage. So what they'll do is they'll ask for a certain amount of money, sometimes you know, decent sums, um, you know, anywhere between seven hundred and a thousand dollars, and they tell you that they'll get your mortgage um, back in order to where you have no late fees, and they'll even lower your payment. What happens is you send them the money because it sounds like a really good deal, and then you never hear from them again. What should people do if they do get scammed like this? Do they call the police? Yeah, it's it's not a bad idea to call us and let us know. The, the bad thing is you got to understand, especially with the internet scams and the mail scams, they're usually someplace either in another country or out of state, and it's very difficult to go after these people because they're doing small sums of money, which usually uh, make it a, either a high degree misdemeanor or a low degree felony. And the cost in, in the investigations and in the prosecution it just totally outweighs uh, what we can what we can afford in those situations. So that's why they do those type of scams. Um, call the police department, call the Better Business Bureau. Um, at least that way we can get the word out that this new scam is coming around. Um, you know, there's there's several different kinds out there, and just remember that if it's it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. And if they want money up front, don't. That's right. Okay, Steve, if people do have any questions, can they give the police department a call? By all means, they can call either the desk officer uh, or they can call the uh, regular 227-4444 line and they'll uh, uh, send the call to the appropriate person. Well, that's good advice and let's hope it saves some people from getting scammed. Thank you for coming in today. Sure. Detective Steve Steckschulte from the Lima Police Department. I'm Ann Decker and this is Community Focus on GTV2. Reduce, recycle, reuse. Allied Waste Services in the City of Lima encourage you to live green by recycling all that you can. Recycling promotes green living by reducing the amount of waste materials buried in landfills. This saves money, natural resources, and energy. Keep our environment healthy and start recycling today. Allied Waste Services is committed to a clean environment. Contact us today for your recycling needs. Visit our website, republicservicesohio.com, to learn more about recycling today. I didn't want to be touched. He said it would feel good, but it didn't. So he gave me a new doll and some candy. He told me not to tell anybody and that it's our special secret. <laughs> How do I make him stop? Say no. Run away. Scream. It's okay to tell an adult you trust if someone is hurting you or making you uncomfortable. Feel safe. Feel strong. Feel free. My joints ached and I was always tired. I was always cold, I couldn't concentrate, and my body hurt all over. My doctor told me I had lupus. Women of childbearing age, and especially African American women, are at higher risk. If you suspect that you have lupus, you should contact your doctor. You're invited to attend the local lupus support group meetings on the second Thursday of each month at 1 o'clock at Lima Towers. For further information, go to connectedhands.org. This is a nice neighborhood. It is. Is that the house we're living in, Mom? Yes. Look at all the kids around here, Mom. I like this house. Hi, right, we're here about the house. It's rented. It's against the law to deny people the opportunity to live where they want and can afford. If you feel that you've been treated unfairly, give LACA a call and we'll look into your complaint. LACA's fair housing services are free, so call today and get the housing you deserve. 419-227-2586.